Hey guys, Victoria here from Bumblebeans. How are you? Happy New Year! Woohoo! Yeah, New Year's is over with. Christmas is done. We were out at our house for uh, that break between Christmas and New Year's and came home today and I thought, oh my gosh, who left this big mess here? <laughs> so now I get to clean up my house. That's always fun. And, and have you taken your tree down yet? Mine's just sitting there looking very pretty. Gonna have to get around to that one of these days, right? So if you haven't been over to the 15 Minutes Play site, I had done this in the past where I usually I have a, a word that sort of represents my goal for the year. And if any of you have seen my lecture, um, one of the things I talk about at the end, <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Are you enough? Do you have enough? I am enough. Are you enough? I'm enough. They're just fun little projects that I've made and I hang up around my studio. Words of inspiration. Uh, like on my computer I have create and I have do good work. and you know, Little reminders and just fun little things. So the other day I put up for New Year's, I took a few minutes and I made my new word. Here's my new one. My word for this year is share. So I did reverse applique on here. I haven't sewn it down yet, but I'm just going to just do it on the machine and then I'll probably go back and do a little bit of embroidery, which is what I did on my other one, and I kind of like that. So think about a word that represents uh, what you can work on this year. Um, I was thinking share because anytime that I've given a quilt away, it makes me feel so good that I know I'm doing the right thing and that I'm in the right place. So that whole idea of sharing it or talking about quilts or talking to you or um, just making anything and, and just giving it away. It just feels so good to just share and really, I mean, we all have enough stuff, right? Prime example. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Got enough stuff. So one of the things I always tell people is that if I'm going to um, give anything for charity and give it away, I give my best stuff because people who don't have... Um, you know, what the rest of us might have. They deserve to have something really nice. So consider pulling out some of those beautiful fabrics that you haven't used in years. Instead of pulling out the ugly stuff, pull out the nice stuff. Make something really nice and just give it to somebody who needs something bright and happy and beautiful in their life. So hop over to 15 Minutes of Play site. You're able to join in and make your word and send me a picture and I'll throw it up on the post of what your word is. I did not spend a lot of time. You can see it's not very fancy. Um, anytime I do anything on the 15 Minutes of Play site, it's I'm starting with my scraps. So I started by sewing my scraps together and then, you know, using that to go behind here. See how I can, whoop, there, see? So then I went back and I traced my little letters and I cut them out so that I'm laying it over the top of the made fabric. You can do yours however you want. I just like to incorporate the made fabric in there any or which way. It's small, it's little, it's just something I can have fun with. I can try some new quilting techniques. I can get out my um, 12 weight Orifil threads. Woo, love those. Great for handwork, hand quilting, uh, embroidery, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get out some of my threads and which you can get in my shop, by the way, just in case you didn't know that. Um, and Show me what your word will be. I'm excited to see. Speaking of uh, my shop, these have been very popular on my shop. I don't remember if I did a video on these, but on my shop page, um, I have these sewing cases. You see this? There's a little spot to put your, all your little goodies inside here, a place for your, your scissors and what other little gadgets you need. I use mine to put all my threads in it for or my Orifil threads for embroidery and handwork that I take along with me. If I'm off teaching, this is I use this as my handbag. The outside of the bag comes with this green, let's see if I can even show it here. Can you see the little green peeking out of there? It's this spongy stuff. So I there's a pattern included with the little sewing kit. And then I made my fabric. If you're doing mini hexagons or whatever you wanted, whatever kind of fabric you can sew, you can sew it right to the outside. You kind of stretch it back. You use a curved needle. It comes with the, and with the pattern. And if you're a paper piece, or these are really cute for that. I'll show you if I take all my stuff out of here. You can, if you're a paper piecer, right? You get all your little hexagons lined up. There's a little bar inside here. Can you see that? 
and it pivots. So now you have all those little hexagons. You can line them up in there perfectly and this fits flat on top of there so they don't get squished so you can take them with you as you go. Isn't that adorable? Isn't it lovely? It's so cute. I love it. So yeah, that's what I'm, I use mine for all my embroidery stuff, my hand work, um, but they're great for paper piecing. So those are in the shop. Um, I do have wallets too, but I haven't made mine yet, so I don't have them up on my site. As soon as I make one, I'll get them up. Um, they're kind of fun too. But what else? This came. Do you guys get this magazine near you? I hadn't seen it around because our grocery stores just don't have a lot of stuff when you walk in. But um, Cottage Journal Magazine. This is a beautiful magazine. Um, sort of a home interior kind of a magazine. Well, they had contacted me a little while back and they did this beautiful, look, see, hey, I just showed you my stash. Where is it? There it is. is it? <laughs> Going backwards with my camera here. There. There's my stash. See, I got way more than I need. Here's my bed. It's out of my house. It's got the kitchen sink quilts on there. But they did this really lovely article. Um, so if you have it near you, you can check it out. My daughter was quite happy because she took this picture. It's in the magazine, me and my hubby. It's very, very cute. So thank you, Cottage Journal. It's really beautiful. If, it's, if you have this in your uh, area, you can pick it up. You can go online. You can order a subscription. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. When I came home, there was all these boxes. Remember, I had so many problems with the U.S. Postal Service. I lost 12 packages this year. Well, one of them that had to get replaced actually finally showed up. And then there was an extra box that showed up. Check this out. At Houston this year, it was a 30th anniversary of Orophil. Guess what's inside? Oh my God, look. Ah! Doesn't that just make you drool? Oh my Lord. Totally, totally just like, wow. I don't even know which one I want to start playing with first, but that's just way too much fun. So thank you, Orophil, Alex and Lena, everybody out there at Orophil. Thank you so much for the collection. Can't wait to start sewing with it. It's fantastic. And what else? I'm just realizing I left my studio in a mess. So guess what I get to do this week? I'm going to clean again. It's never ending. Ah, I made a mess at my studio at my house. So I'm going to deal with that next weekend. Um, and... For today, I'm just settling in, being back home, get back into our routine. Miss Jenny Egg, who was sick and we thought we were actually going to lose her, is actually now doing better. She had Lyme's disease. Thank you for all your lovely emails and comments that you guys had sent. Jenny Egg, come here. Jenny Egg, come here. Here she comes. She got to say hi because she's so much better. I really, she looked like she was death warmed over. She had Lyme's disease, which... She, she's had in the past and and I guess the medicine just didn't get rid of it but now she's doing good right yeah my little shadow she's so sweet aren't you yes so I hope you guys had a really great holiday I took a little break from the blogging and whatnot I, get, I don't have my video camera on my other computer so I can't do it when I'm away from my home um, and the one on my phone was not working so I had a little break so I hope you guys had a really good holiday. All right. Talk to you soon. Figure out what your word is. I want to hear it. Right? You want to hear it too, Jenny Egg? Yep. She wants to know what it is too. Okay? Bye.